Hello, good evening. On December 17th, 2017, it's 8.37 in the evening in Olympia, Washington. This is Dave Herman, alias Daz the Artist. Tonight I'm going to try and do a, uh, a male ballet dancer. Uh, this a little background I created. So it's a 9 by 12 blank. I did a little bloom here with just uh, some airbrush. And by that I mean I just you know, take an airbrush, pick a color like this, just since you didn't get to see that. Uh, and then I just kind of, you know, wisp it in there like that. So uh, let's undo that just for now. Okay, so there you go. Now, we're going to draw, uh, we use this as the background just so the illustration kind of pops off of it. So I'm going to go into uh, soft air, uh, pencil. Let me find pencil in here. And I'm going to go to um, colored pencil. So, and then I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to pick like a white gray, sort of. And sketch in uh, a guy doing leg splits in the air. So let's, uh, let's just start with the head. Kind of here, we're on the... Uh, Um, standing desk. Okay, so there's like the start of a head, a start of a neck, um, a rib cage and neck. So let's see, we'll do the neck first. Can they have an arm in front? So let's say uh, the head's like that, tilt maybe like so, so. Um, coming like that. And the chin. Here, 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 like so. Eyes maybe up here. Eh, let's just kind of do like so. Make this a little bit longer. Have a little funkiness with the grab. And we'll go to erase for a second. And just going to tidy some of this up so I know where I'm at. Just uh, let's get some of this back out of the face here. There we go. Just a little sketching there. So see where you're racing. It, because it's on a separate layer, it doesn't mess with your background. And that's kind of uh, always something I talk about. Let's go back to pencil and do get back in here so we're going to go a little larger with the head you know that's how we got started and uh, then the eyes would be say up here and the nose and stuff and okay now uh, since he's going to be in a sideways angle I'm going to kind of draw a rib cage in here so there's a rib cage, kind of like so. And uh, see, that would kind of go upward. Ribs, yeah, it's kind of about right, like so, like that. Maybe down into here. And the stomach and everything, kind of following here, 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 like that. Just sketching. Um, on this side, we're, we're going to have one arm in the air, so uh, the neck you know, up here, and I make the head even further back like this, and uh, elbow kind of crosses about there, so bicep uh, intersecting here. So let's let's come across like that and down into the torso and like so and uh, making some muscles and stuff here the scapula and let's come like that uh, forearm up here Uh, 
through the elbow like that. Okay, it's a start of that. And then the torso. So uh, I'll have his waist be about here ish, like that, the bend to the hip, which is in the air, which is an acute angle. So, like so. Looking at a reference off screen. Uh, then this kind of comes down here uh, into the groin area. So, like so. Then this leg, we're going to have uh, coming out like this. There'll be clothing on it and maybe so far striking an arc. Let's see, that's about the knee there. And down to the calf and stuff. And the way they get their leg, uh, it's awesome into the air. It's just amazing to me. And we'll have the foot here. And then the... Oh, let me back up that stroke. Some floating stroke up there. Okay. And then this comes, say, like this. And the foot like that. Feet look so weird. They're never like you think they are. <laughs> when they're bent and everything, they're such a strange shapes, really, uh, in real life. And so he has this like a slipper on, you know. So the slipper kind of goes like that, down to here, and the heel. And so now let me get back into my eraser a little bit. Let's get some of this off of here. Again, this is a good thing for, um, oh, that's blur, sorry, being on separate layers, especially when you do something like that, see. Okay, so you get this out. Erase some of this off, figure out where your foot's gone, clothing, stuff like that. Okay, maybe take some of this out of here just a little bit. And again, this is why I'm on a separate layer, because I am allowed to play with it without messing up the background. Okay, and this will give us some structure. Uh, again, these are just quick little sessions where I show how I start from nothing and create my drawing. This time I'm working from a reference. A lot of times uh, you've watched me build things uh, just from my brain. And uh, let's see what happens here. back to erase. Erase is good. Um, so you can, you know, if you, if you get too busy, like I do a lot, it's just one of my shortcomings. I can be, you know, put too much stuff in, should have less showing or something like that. I, I can, you know, play with it and redo it and fix it up and stuff like that. So it's kind of nice. All right. So we're building a foot there. Uh, let's go back into our brush or pencil, actually, in this case which, um, you know, the pant now is, in this particular instance that I'm using in my references, kind of comes up nicely like that. And here comes his thigh muscle. And then there's like a kink in the clothing. And then there's a little more clothing and stuff. Then since they're muscular, dancers are very muscular, which is great, makes cool looking art. Uh, there's a big calf. And then it goes to the thigh, like that. And the butt is right in about the center uh, in this particular pose where he's up in the air. So you get your mid midline uh, towards the head, but you know his torso's twisted this way. So okay, so then this kind of comes down and then up, does like a little up, so you can see almost the butt from the front behind his crotch, actually. So that kind of comes down like that. 
So to illustrate that, I will erase some of this, uh, show that the crotch is elevated beyond right there, a little bit of the butt, you know, that shows. Okay, so actually it could be even lower, take a pencil, and just kind of comes like that, just a little more rounded. They got nice muscles. So whether they're male or female, you know, they're great things to practice with. Uh, since I did female legs the other day on my art station, today I decided to do a male for the variety. Okay. Because, you know, I have no preference when I'm practicing and doing stuff. You know, here's a stubby leg. Okay. Now the other leg, going out the other way, uh, you know, the hip and the groin and everything. Let me uh, make sure I'm in the pencil. So this kind of comes down like so. And then you've got the hip there, the groin, um, and the other leg in this case is just slightly down that way. Okay, and a muscle coming a thigh, uh, strong, like actually higher up in this angle from the other one, comes down to the knee. And this leg comes uh, from here down. And then it's got the calf muscle, nice muscles showing through the pants. And then another kind of trimmed off, really exotic purple clothing with little gold leaf things on them. So we'll get into that maybe if there's time. And the leg is attached about here. So uh, we have one foot. This foot kind of shows the side, the top view, excuse me. And so it's a male, and it's foot shaped like this, and it comes down. Uh, this is almost straight there. Um, kind of a tricky little ditty. Let me get this worked out. And then it's kind of like that, and that even taller, like that, maybe out to there, uh, the big toe and stuff there, and then this bend of the foot, kind of like that. Okay, now, let's save this so we don't lose it file. Save as. I have it as background starter. It's now going to be called Ballet Dancer. Male Dancer, just so I have some way of finding it again. And on my desktop. And I will put a space in there. And save the clip. Okay. So the clip file is being saved, and then I'll work on it. Okay, and I'm also going to save this as a JPEG. Uh, I like to save them uh, as I work along, and then give them numbers. So this is a JPEG. We're just saving this as a panel. Okay, yep, do that. And that just popped up on my... Uh, computer. The clip file, I don't see yet, but that's okay. Clip Studio Paint, let me see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, does any of that show? Yeah, 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 it's all there. Okay, good. Now, now we go to a next, the next layer. And the reason we're doing this in layers, like I always show in my, uh, my art, uh, where's this cursor? Hello, cursor. Come on. There we go. I 
picked that up with the digital pen. Hello. Now oh, what's it doing? Seems to be some cat and monkey business. There we go. I use a mouse and I use a cursor, and sometimes they get in a conflict with each other. So we go to the next layer. Hmm. Oh, indulge with me. Sorry. My computer is uh, maxed out sometimes. <laughs> okay, I'm on layer two. Hey, yes. And uh, let's uh, let's give them a little bit of a face. Now, the thing about layers, the nice thing, see, is when you have this on a layer, you can turn it off, or you can turn it on. So if you draw over this, and you don't want any of this to show, this is just your magic reference. Then you just turn it off at the end. You know, that's why I love layers. So we're on another layer now. Let's flesh him up a little bit, okay, and put some detail in here if we can. So we're going to go into like uh, some browns. I'll do 30 minutes wherever I get on this. Uh, it's going to be questionable because this machine was acting pretty funny there for us. We didn't want all that funky stuff happening. There we go. So let's, uh, let's find some kind of a flesh. I like. Okay, so let's try that. And now I'm going to block in uh, some shadow areas just f and then try and do some detail. Okay. So I know it's going to be darker in here. Um, like that. And uh, I'm even going to go a little darker in my shadow, towards the shadow. So let's go down here. And let's, there we go. Like that. That's the neck. Just a touch of the neck up here. And then the uh, torso, the armpit, is kind of in here. So we're just blocking this in. Um, then there's a midline shadow that kind of comes down, you know, here. Uh, this is just one way of skinning the cat. I go back and forth for hours uh, doing this. But, you know, this is my, my start. Okay, we're just, I'm not even going to finish this thing. <laughs> you know, they're just things I begin to do, uh, have some fun on the internet, my daily sketch. Although I should work on this one, so I don't know. I like to talk this out with myself and see what I think. Let's give him some hair up there just for now. Keep this kind of abstract, I'm thinking. That looks pretty cool. So, okay, we come down here, and then there's more muscle in here. Uh, he's very muscular, and this comes around here, here, and here. Um, and then this way, there's going to be ribs and stomach muscles, you know, and more rib stuff. It's just a very interesting. So I'm just blocking in some shadow, not nothing too great for myself. Trying to uh, figure out where I'd put it. Okay. Kind of talking and drawing is always tricky for me. Uh, let's just uh, let's do a little, a little bit more detail. Just kind of work his head a little bit here. I'll just show you how I would slowly uh, develop this guy. <laughs> Very slowly. Okay. So I'll come across like that. Maybe. Then there'd be his eye would be like in here, and another eye in here, and the nose would be uh, foreshortened up here, and the mouth be a little bit he's a little bit open here, so like so. Chin down here, uh, old jawbone like that. And we're kind of keeping this abstract a little bit. Um, shake his head. Bring it down like that. Yeah. And 
nostrils would actually show. So I'm doing that like that. And maybe some teeth, you know, would show. So you can just, as we're trying to do something here just for 30 minutes. So I got 10 more minutes to kind of rough this in. Just fun stuff, you know? Yeah, let me make everything look like I was drawn with the computer super quick and all that kind of. Yeah, this is a start. Uh, okay, up here. Like this. And uh, now that I've got that kind of roughed in, I'm going to take a black line, just a black line. I'm going to. Uh, do some detail, not heavy detail, but more like I, like I had some gesture work going on, and uh, clean up some of this. So the eyelid would be like, so my pencil is getting stuck in the uh, tablet somehow. I'm not sure what's going on there. Okay, like that. And uh, the nose, uh, this would be a little more prominent this way, like so. Uh, and then I'd come straight down here like that. So we're just slowly shaping up, blocking in some features. Uh, it's cool. All right. And of course, his eye would not go to the edge of his head, but you know, this is just a rough. Uh, get that in there. Yeah, and this over here, kind of like that, and then uh, some eyelid, like so, keeping this kind of abstractly, maybe some right up here, there we go. Here. See, we're treating this almost like pencils and chalks, which is very cool. It's working for me. Uh, I like to show some of the drama, some of the feeling, some of the stress, but not too much, you know. And so we're we're getting there. We're just trying to, you know, when you first start, it's always awkward. No, no kidding, right? Everybody knows that, I guess. And you're just watching me. Um, Kind of flush it out, so to speak. A little pun there, but I'm adding some flesh to my man. Okay, so I, I really like um, pencil is fantastic in uh, clip paint. I like the whole program. I just like the feel and setting my metrics up in this stuff and uh, playing with it. You know, because um, tell you, tell you learn, right? So. Yes, if it was time lapsed and I drew for six hours, you know, everything would be super quick and done and boom, boom, boom. But I'm showing you how I just slowly get to where I'm going. Yeah. And the neck would be uh, uh, changed a little bit, the angle or something, so I can close this. And then I would stretch this a little bit, like... You know, there's a muscle there, the trachea, I mean the trapezius, and, um, you know, his face angle, like so. Uh, there's a muscle that comes down in front of the neck, right there. Um, you know, part of the deltoid, and this is coming across here. And then we get out to the rib cage, and... Uh, so this is again just slowly um, filtering, thinking mentally how I'm going to build him, and uh, I'm keeping it a, a sketchy quality because what I'm trying to do this whole year is uh, I don't like any of those lines. <laughs> what am I doing while we're talking? Uh, my goal this year was to uh, do. Uh, Mixed media art digitally, the way I do it 
in the real world. So I'm thinking of the ways I would draw uh, actually on a canvas and then trying to apply it to digital. So, you know, I suppose not having gone to school for that and just being self-taught that uh, I went for regular art, but uh, I'm not sure exactly how each person approaches digital, but instead of trying to like make it look uh, like something first, uh, it's finding those tools and then you find the tool that you need. So in other words, uh, when I wanted to do a pencil sketch, I looked for the pencil tool first. Okay, and then I pretended I was drawing. So like this is on another layer now. See, we can go back and you can erase that. This gives you the greatest control. Okay, so be sure to utilize the power of layers. If you draw in there and it's all one layer, it's no big deal. It's your choice. But then you're just not going to be able to pull off a lot of these tricks. Like if you're working here and you're not erasing that little line, or if you wanted that line out, you can go here and not affect what's above it, you know? So I find that stuff the greatest power of digital art. It's like having 30 layers of glass. You pick which layer to work on and you work on it. Okay, so now we got part of this torso going. Let's throw some pants on. Uh, actually, it was kind of a purple with some gold filigree or gold uh, design work. So I'm going to rough in. Uh, let me be on another layer, excuse me. There we go. And I'm going to, uh, let's see, what am I doing? I'm in an eraser, or be a pencil. Mm -hmm. Go here and just lightly. I am in the colored pencil. See, see that effect? The, uh, it almost looks like you're using a, uh, a real colored pencil. It's got that textured. If you just press the right amount of pressure and uh, it makes it nice. It makes this look kind of like chalks and colored pencils. And I'm very happy with that kind of a result. And of course I would play for play with this long time to get where I'm going to go. You can see that I'm not a, the fastest guy. I like to think. <laughs> I'm old school, man. I'm thinking. I'm thinking, Johnny. What? What? You're thinking? Yeah, sorry. Thinking. Okay. Thinking, Lincoln. All right. So there's the crotch. Kind of bring that to the foreground. And then it's uh, darker this way, like so, like that. You know, kind of shape it. And uh, wherever it's lighter, you know, you... You work that, and you put in a different tone, and you keep building, and that's how that's done, right? And we will keep building. And the, and before I do that, I'm gonna put a sash on him. He's got like a whitish sash. So right now we're just gonna put the uh, like block it in. Not too heavy because it's got creases and wrinkles and stuff, and the belly button's right about a little, just a little bit above. So that's cool. I like how that worked out. And the sash kind of goes down the leg here. So this kind of reminds me, you know, when I'm working, uh, to be mindful of that. Then I would, uh, uh, well, it's kind of gold. So I would get a nice, like an orangey. And I would, uh, you know, uh, shape the sash if I was, you know, like that. Put some wrinkles and stuff in it and all that. Um, so it actually just comes down the side here, separate from the leg, of course, right? It doesn't go onto the leg. And then you would, you can use any color you want. For illustration today, I'm just using this to add some wrinkles. And be mindful that this is a sash. Uh, and I might even show it, like, down here. Okay. That's looking pretty cool. Let's put in some... Uh, some more black lines just to define and I'll shape a shoe maybe and we're going to call it at 30 minutes because that's how it worked um, you know there might be a crease or two in here all this stuff would be reworked but let's just uh, let's just do a little something 
so you can kind of see really defining moments. Uh, da -da -da -da. And this is kind of shaped like that, like that, maybe like this. Mm -hmm. Here, bigger muscle. So remind me, this is the way this kind of goes. Mm -hmm. And the sash should be out here, maybe, and just like that. It's always cool. Uh, let's fill in his feet and put a little gold shoe on or something and call it a, uh, a drawing. So uh, again, this would be on another layer, let's say, if I wanted his feet, for instance. So I could play with the shoe and not mess with anything. Uh, right now we're just roughing them in. But it makes a nice abstract painting. I mean, this is a pretty cool painting just to hang if it was done in paint and everything. And uh, so this year, 2018, you're going to see me, hopefully, uh, do some fine art uh, on canvas too. I'm going to, uh, you know, take the skills and go back and forth. Hopefully, and create some cool stuff there. We just want to kind of define just a little bit, not too much. Uh, for now, how this fits his ankle, like that. So, kind of like that. And this one is, you know, square, kind of coming around uh, like that. Not too much. And this is an angle here. And like that, and comes like that. So that looks pretty cool. Then I could put some highlights on there, um, just to rough in this, to finish kind of the feeling of this. Oh, let's. Here's what I would do with that. Let me edit, undo, edit, edit, undo, edit, undo. Back to a new layer for the highlights, because I I don't want to. If I work on this, I will be able to just turn that off, you know, but this is just to complete this session. Um, there'd be some folded stuff there. You know, it's a soft shoe. Maybe a highlight up here like that. And then if I was roughing in the body's highlights, uh, since I can turn this off, I'm going to put some on the muscles. See like that. And, uh, you know, it's, it's worth watching these sometimes because you see how I think it out and uh, I'm giving you the way I do it, you know. Um, so here we go. So a little bicep there and the chin would have some here. Because when you see these, you don't really know how I'm thinking or where I'm going to go with it. So I'm trying to just rough it in now, uh, put the light where it is and you would see some of that and you know make it a little more dramatic his hair and that's pretty good and i'm gonna call that a wrap so there you go folks 33 minutes mystical thank you